Well, let's talk about the math going forward uh, into next Tuesday. So Marco Rubio, Josh's boy, who also has proven to be the worst candidate since Jeb Bush, <laughs> was completely shut out last night. Didn't finish above 16% in any state, failed to get a single delegate. Yeah. There have been... He did great in Puerto Rico, Igor. <laughs> Lame stream uh, media uh, keeping that out of the headlines. The, uh, the, the North Mariana Island primary is <laughs> right. It's either tonight or tomorrow. It's, it's a caucus. The, it's a caucus. The goddamn international dateline is so Rubio still got that open. <laughs> Yeah. Well, look, I mean, Josh was saying that it's a bad move by Ted Cruz to try to make a play at Florida, but there have been multiple reports, which Rubio has denied, that he would drop out ahead of the uh, Florida primary. Uh, he's getting crushed in, in the state and pretty much every poll. And the problem for him is going to be that, according to the uh, Florida State Department, already there's been 1.2 early ballots cast, and the majority of those are, are Republican. So even if uh, Rubio goes and pulls some Bernie Sanders shit in Florida, it still might not be enough to cut into that deficit. Josh, what are the chances he will drop out before the Florida primary and maybe give the primary over to Ted Cruz because he is a dud of a candidate? I mean, no kidding, right? I I, I seriously can't. I Look, I'm more concerned about how I was fooled than what's going to happen <laughs> in Florida. Um, but no, I think... I. I don't think he can, and I, the reason I don't think he can is because um, he staked his, sort of his campaign on it, and if he did, that would be amazing. I mean, I, I think it would be very interesting if he were to drop out and make it just Cruz and Trump, but then again, you have Kasich jumping down from Ohio and going, yeah, you guys should probably vote for me. I'm up there in Ohio. You might as well. So he'll pretty good. I don't think it matters. I don't think it, it I think Rubio stays in because Rubio has been told to stay in. And I and by that I mean I'm sure Wright's previous every, you know, donor they're like you have to try and make a play for Florida. Um because again, if Trump wins Florida, you know, if he splits the difference between Florida and Ohio, I don't think there's any I mean there's really no stopping him short of changing the convention rules. Uh, before it starts. If Rubio somehow manages to win Florida, it doesn't help Rubio. He drops out. Of course not. But I'm just saying, if he were to somehow pull that off, the conversation wouldn't be, ah, Rubio is our guy now. It would just be, he stopped Trump. You may go now, Marco. And it, I just, again, that's the thing. But I don't see what other than, you know, what's going to all of a sudden now make them start working together when it's arguably too late for that to happen? I just, I see that people stay in and then they try to make a dogfight of a convention. Um, you know, like I said, I'm hoping that they do the rule change right before it starts and then it's just bedlam. That, God, would that be fun? I mean, the Republican Party, is, as Josh put it, I mean, they're going to use Rubio as basically a suicide bomber in, in Florida. Um, they're going to send him in to, to try to defeat Trump, and he'll, you know, blow himself up, and nobody really particularly cares. He, he, there's also ego. I mean, this poor guy has been running for president all this time. He's gone from uh, a position where he was considered a very serious uh, runner for the nomination to, you know, the Jeb Bush. No, no, more, like the, more like the dark horse favorite. Like, he was like, oh, you think it'll be Jeb? Have you met Marco? He's like yeah, Jeb, yeah. but younger and Spanisher. Yeah, yeah, he, his name was up there. I mean, he fell from a, from a high place. Um, and his ego is on the line. If he can walk away kind of imagining that he did something good in this whole thing, um, and if he has some delegates to bargain with at some point, whatever. But I, he's not going to drop out. The question is, will he be totally and completely humiliated in front of the entire <laughs> nation um, when, if Trump beats him in, in Florida? That would be entertainment. I think the thing is, Rubio can't win Florida. It's looking more and more like he can't. I mean, he can't even finish above fourth in some of these other states. But the idea would be that if he gets out, would Ted Cruz then be able to take the, nomin uh, the, the vote? But, I mean, the problem is, with, for the same reason that Rubio likely can't make up the deficit, is there's been so many votes already cast that even that then makes it a very improbable proposition. But, Josh, Jeb Bush is a question. And for yeah, you still have you still have Kasich, who would be your not Trump option if you weren't already with Cruz. 
Well, I mean, statistics just based on what people say in polls, a lot of the Rubio voter second choice is Ted Cruz. So not all, but I think like two thirds. All right, then I stand migrate correct. to Cruz. I, that would be enough considering all the votes that were cast. But anyway, and Jeb Bush, the big uh, Florida governor endorsement, is supposed to meet with all the candidates except Trump. Uh, is Jeb actually going to endorse any of these guys, Josh, or do you think Jeb might actually? Do what we're talking about here and try to talk Rubio or maybe Kasich out of get to to drop out so that they can be Trump. I I would I would pick the latter just because, um, or he might do one of those things where he comes out and endorses Rubio hard because he knows he's so unpopular that it'll push people to cruise. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I I really think I really don't think he's going to make an endorsement. Because, I mean, let's be honest, in uh, Idaho, I think Kasich had the endorsement of, like, all the major newspapers and the governor, uh, Butch Otter, whose name I learned last night. And um, Rubio had one of the senators from the state endorsement. And they got single, what, single digits? Did did Rubio crack 20%? No, no he didn't crack 16 yeah. in any state. So... Yeah, they like they didn't even qualify for delegates. So if well, if if Jeb Bush was gonna if Jeb Bush, Kasich uh, in Kasich um, had like seventeen delegates out of uh, yeah one of those in uh, Michigan, right? Yeah, yeah, because he he somehow like Cruz was second, but he ended up with more delegates in the one chart I was looking at. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I think that that what will happen is it's more likely that Jeb Bush is talking about circling the wagons than trying to endorse anyone. Because seriously, what fucking good would his endorsement have done anyway? Uh, 